My name is Felix Harlan. I was one of the co-founders of Harlan and Weaver with my late wife, Carol Weaver. We had met working together in various uh, studios in New York in the early 1980s. It was a rather exciting time in Lower Manhattan. There were a lot of startup galleries on the Lower East Side, in the East Village, and we felt like we were in a way a part of that uh, movement away from um, Soho. When I came to New York, I, uh, I got jobs working in print shops. I had a friend who worked in a silkscreen studio, and I kind of apprenticed there. I was able to, you know, jump around until I met Carol at Aeropress, which was a well-known studio in New York at that time. When an artist comes to the workshop, we try to find out if they've made prints before and if they have what, what, what it is about printmaking that interests them, if they have any favorite techniques. Mostly we work with artists in the studio. Occasionally artists uh, do not want to work in a group. Uh, Louise Bourgeois, for instance, only worked in her home. She, uh, she didn't want to come to Canal Street. Uh, I think if she would have been uncomfortable with a group of people in the room watching her do things. Other artists are much more social in the um, studio. We always gear everything we do around the artists and their needs. You know, we, we do some research on that stuff. Kiki Smith, for instance, likes to work with a group of people. She will have one of her assistants there, perhaps. Um, she becomes friendly with the people who are working in the studio and uh, a completely different atmosphere in that respect. What we have here is a uh, sort of a cluster of prints by Louise Bourgeois. This, of course, is one of her, a dry point of one of her famous subjects, the spider. This one is titled Hairy Spider. It's from 2000. Uh, below it is um, the ears print, uh, where she punched holes through the paper to indicate the ear canal. It's on a piece of handmade uh, Indian paper. So towards the end of my period of working with her, which was from approximately 1990 till the mid-2000s, uh, she and her assistant were going through the house and collecting materials. And they asked me, can, well, can we print on cloth? And I said, well, yeah, let's try. And um, Louise began to assemble these textiles that had been in her in her home for maybe 50 years. You know, this is a, a table, a linen table napkin. Uh, we printed this little image, which is called self-portrait. Uh, it has five legs, one leg for each member of the family. And this is kind of a, her little face on there. This, this is by Anthony Cudahy. He's a, a painter. It's titled is Reader. Uh, the subject is his partner, Ian Lewandowski. Uh, Antony's paintings are mostly um, kind of intimate and somewhat domestic scenes. This color print is by Nicole Eisenman. Um, it was originally printed as a black and white print, but later on she decided to add color. This uh, very vibrant color aquatint is all aquatint. It's titled Yellow Changing. It's from 2011. The artist is Stanley Whitney. Um, you know, this is a very typical com composition for him. And he was intrigued by what would happen, you know, with the layerings of color. You know, blue on top of yellow, producing a green. And he was very interested in the gaps between these little squares. On this wall are um, two prints from a series by James Sienna. Um, the title is um, 1999 to 2000 that were the dates when the prints were made. And I mentioned James because James was a neighbor of ours in the building where we work. And he, through James, we got to know a lot of other painters. I mean, that's very important for us because then we're, we're really part of a community of artists who are working here.